Welcome to Meditation Eye, your guide to a peaceful mind and a tranquil life. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any of our meditation and mental health content. Today, we're diving into the third video of our Beginner's Guide Meditation 101 series. We'll be discussing a topic that's crucial for beginners, understanding and dealing with obstacles in meditation. When you first start meditating, you might be surprised at how active and uncontrolled your mind is. This is completely normal. You're discovering the truth about the state of most minds. The key is to accept and patiently sit with whatever comes up. There's no need to get rid of thoughts. This is not the purpose of meditation. Rather, we are learning to recognize when thinking is happening so we are not lost in a trance, believing thoughts to be reality, becoming identified with thoughts. One of the common obstacles beginners face is increased self-awareness. As you become more aware of sensations in your body and the workings of your mind, you might also become more aware of your anxiety symptoms. Some people even begin to look out more for signs of anxiety during daily life. But remember, this increased self-awareness is not a setback. It's a crucial skill for dealing with emotions. You first need to notice a feeling before you can handle it properly. Another obstacle is depersonalization experiences. This means that they experience a change in their self-perception. Instead of seeing the world as they usually do, a feeling of detachment from their body and their thoughts can arise. There's nothing dangerous or inherently uncomfortable about depersonalization but some people do interpret this temporary change in perception very negatively. If that applies to you, be aware that meditation can sometimes trigger these experiences. And if a depersonalization experience occurs that frightens you, positive and reassuring self-talk can help. Tell yourself that this will go away until your perception has gone back to normal. The neurons in your brain generate electricity to communicate with each other and this electrical activity forms certain patterns. These patterns are called brain waves and come in five different forms, alpha, beta, delta, gamma, and theta. Beta waves come with concentration and critical thinking and planning but are also associated with anxiety. Meditation practices, on the other hand, are typically associated with other types of brain waves. Transcendental meditation, TM, for example, generates alpha waves in some brain areas and that's a sign for your brain going into relaxation mode. Not surprisingly, meditation should typically reduce beta waves. However, when people start a meditation practice, they will often drift off into thinking and planning. That's completely normal and simply part of the process. And for people who experience anxiety on a regular basis, this happens even more often, because they are generally prone to repetitive thinking. Instead of relaxing brain waves, the brain is then flooded with beta waves. You're going into high alert mode. Remember, meditation is not a race. It's a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. It's okay to face obstacles along the way. What's important is how you deal with them. Be patient with yourself and remember that every step you take is a step towards a more peaceful and mindful life. Before we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear about your meditation journey. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep meditating, and keep growing.